Did you know that you could advertise on this channel? Well, you can. Call 815-290-9087 and talk to me today about advertising on our channel. We get over 3,500 hits. We also have a thriving website. We can come up with all sorts of packages for you and make things happen together. Again, that's 815-290-9087 or visit braddrake.net. Welcome back, everybody, to the 1987 Super Mod. I'm your host, Brad Drake, and this is the World Wrestling Association. And we continue our mission to revive the WWA back to life. So here we go. Today is TV tapings, and we're going to be at the WRTV studio. Uh, I believe that's the name of it. Let's double check. Yes, WRTV out of Indianapolis. We're at the studio. Let's take a look at our backstage incidents. Bunny Love's probably got herself in some trouble again, and she does. We're going to give her a stern warning, and the rest looks like some protege work, and it is, which is good. Let's go ahead and take a look at our card, and we're having that problem again. So there we go. Here's our television card for this evening. Razor DeVito is going to be featured along with the Windy City Dream Team, Ron Powers, Johnny Stewart, Denny Cass, Dr. Jerry Graham Jr. The Texas Hangmen are going to be in action. And in the main event, Moose Cholak is going to face the Great Wojo for the Heavyweight Championship of the World. For the television tapings for next week, which will be the first week of July, we're going to see the, uh, the following people in action. The Zebra Kid, Dukes and Hamilton will be in tag action, Prince Mama Muhammad, Rex Bodie, Ron Powers once again, Paul Christie, Don Kent, and in our main event, Calypso Jim and Steve Regal are going to face Sheik, Adnan LKC, and the great Wojo in a tag team match. You know what time it is. I know what time it is. Let's get to booking. All right, here we go here. You like that? Here we go here. <laughs> Black Cats is going to face Razor DeVito in the opener. And, you know, really, I don't know how Black Cats did not make it to the big time with his name and his look. I mean, that mask alone should have made millions in merchandise sales, but that's just the way I see it. All right, Razor DeVito with the win here. He's going to continue his winning ways. Remember, everybody, we are booking a 1980s wrestling television show. So what you're seeing is going to be all squash matches. We are doing what we can to enhance our talent, to make our talent look better so that people will buy a ticket to see them when they come to their town. So we have Joe Williams tagging with, I believe, John Rizzo. Let me double check that one really quick. And that's exactly it. And they're going to be facing the young up-and-comers, the Windy City Dream Team, who've been doing very well for us and actually had their first main event Match just the other night, tagging with Steve Regal in a six-man tag. We're going to have Lance Allen get the win for this team on television. And we're ready to move on here. Next, we have Ricky Young versus Ron Powers. Ron Powers has not graced us off of television yet. And he's not going to for a while. We are having building, we are built slowly but surely building up Ron Powers. I have very high hopes for him in the future. And we are having him just consistently win on TV to build him up on television for a while here before he goes on tour. We're trying to make Ron Powers into a babyface power monster wrestler. And it's exactly what we're going to do. 
Next, we have Nikki Shannon versus Johnny Stewart. And Stewart, of course, is gracing our thumbnail for this show. Johnny Stewart was always a good wrestler and really hit his peak in the early 90s. He was very good. I believe he ended up being a trainer for Windy City Pro Wrestling also. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the case. Next, Jeff Crimley is going to face Denny Cass. There's Jeff Crimley. And there is Denny Cass. And again, the best picture I could find was that side profile of him from an early 90s match. But that's all right. Denny Cass actually at one point tagged as part of the Fabulous Kangaroos with Bulldog Don Kent. All right, Dr. Jerry Graham Jr. is going to cut a promo. And he is in a feud with the Golden Boys. So, you know what? We're going to have Don Kent with him in the promo. There we go. Jerry Graham and Don Kent cut a promo. And of course, Bob Utter is going to be interviewing them. And they are going to be talking about Lance Allen and Eddie Strong. So, entertainment, entertainment, not rated, off screen, off screen. There we go. That one's all set. And we're going to have Dr. Jerry Graham in singles action here. And he's going to face Harry Canadian. Not the Harry Canadian, but just Harry Canadian. Oh, somebody pulled a rib on that poor guy with that name. <laughs> All right, there's Harry Canadian, and there is Dr. Jerry Graham Jr. I really like this guy. I thought he was a wizard on the mic, and he was pretty good in the ring, too. He apparently trained the great Wojo, and they tagged together for a while in the WWA. All right, Dick the Bruiser and the Crusher are going to cut a promo here. And of course they're going to. They're our biggest draw. There's Dick the Bruiser. There is the Crusher. Entertainment, entertainment. And of course they're going to also talk to Bob Utter. But Bob Utter is going to remain unrated. Next here, we have Craig Carson and Jeff Stanton facing the Texas Hangman. And at some point here, we are going to bring in Don Carson to manage the Texas Hangman. Because I think in the other save, it works out so well. So we're going to do it in this save too. Carson and Stanton versus the Texas Hangman. And I do like calling the Texas Hangman Hangman 1 and 2 a lot better than. Uh, Calling them psycho and killer. All right, there's the hangman. And we're going to give hangman number one the victory here. Another solid squash match there. All right, the great Wojo is going to cut his promo with Sheik Adnan LKC. Here is Sheik Adnan LKC. Here is the great Wojo. Here's Bob Utter. Here is Steve Regal. Steve Regal, of course, is off screen. Entertainment, not rated, not rated. Beautiful. And our main event here. It's going to be 17 minutes. And it's going to be Cholak versus Wojo. Essentially, you got a two-on-one here against Cholak. 
I'm telling you, Wojo was a bad dude. He was a big, powerful, nasty SOB. You would not want to mix it up with him. So great, Wojo's going to get the win here. We'll see if they can pull off an epic. Nah, they're not going to be able to pull off an epic. We're going to remove that. Uh, regular. And, of course, we're going to have some manager interference here for the win. There we go. We could actually do two more matches here. Got to clean this up. What we'll do is we'll bump up. We'll bump up the promos. Yeah, there we go. We're ready to go. All right, 31 for DeVito taking the win here over the Black Cats. Dumbest name I ever heard of. Windy City Dream Team get the win with the drop top. Very nice. And Ron Powers wins with that power bomb hold, and he just keeps improving. Next, Johnny Stewart wins with the neck breaker over Mickey Stewart. Mickey Shannon, I'm sorry. And of course, we're getting penalized for low experience. We got a new announce team. And next, Denny Cass gets the win with that pile driver. Jeff Crimley does the favors. And Jerry Graham and Don Kent get a 51 for their promo. Not bad for the WWA, not bad at all. Jerry Graham Jr. gets the win here over Harry Canadian. And that's two guys there using the pile driver. So we're going to have to get that sorted out. And Bruiser and the Crusher get a, only a 76 for their promo, which is a little surprising considering we're in the very heart of their popularity. But, well, what are you going to do? It's the way it goes. All right, the Hangman. Get the win over Carson and Stanton. 39 overall. Pretty consistent with our usual scores here. And in the main event, we get a... I'm sorry. The promo. We get a 72. Not the main event. Cholak and Wojo only get a 55. Ooh, this is rough. We should still get a popularity boost, but this is rough. We do. Four regions. That was a rough one, everybody. All right. We're ready to continue recording here. Let's change ourselves over here with colors. And, of course, we're recording for July already here. The time is moving along. All right. Renesto and Zebra Kid are going to be in the opener here. Three minutes. Here is Tom Renesto Jr. I'm sure a guy that had great hopes when he first entered the wrestling business, hoping to follow in the footsteps of his Hall of Fame father, Tom Renesto, assassin number two. Of course, as we've learned in pro wrestling, that's very difficult to do. And Tom Renesto Jr. was no exception and had a very lackluster career. Just listen to Jim Cornette talk about him. All right, Barrera and McGuire are going to face Dukes and Hamilton. I just clicked on the wrong thing. Another three-minute bout, of course. There's Nacho Barrera. Hello, Nacho. I know you're a listener of this show. And Danny McGuire was his partner. See that, folks? I actually remembered it there that time. <laughs> There's Dukes and Hamilton. And we're going to have Larry Hamilton get the win for his team. That one's in the books. All right, next, Max Blue versus Prince Mama Muhammad. And I would not want to be Max Blue here. Prince Mama is a bad dude. I'm sure he was as light as a feather in the ring, but he certainly didn't look like it. Big, bad dude. And I believe it was either him or Polynesian Wildman in real life who Dick the Bruiser had a big-time blood feud with, but I can't recall which one it was. All right, Nick Onassis is going to lose to Rex Bodie here next. 
Just say it flat out. Nick Onassis doesn't mind. He knows that's what he's here to do. That Cowboy Rex Bodie's going to actually get a win here. It's going to come on television in our vast syndication network. All right, Frankie Adonis is going to face Ron Powers here. Ron Powers is going to do what Ron Powers does, and that's win. There's Frankie Adonis, another Detroit wrestler. There's Ron Powers. Frankie Adonis was another one that was with the territory of the Sheik. Big time wrestling. When that closed up, he found himself some work when the WWA moved in and tried to take over the territory. Two very mild success. All right, Dick the Bruiser and the Crusher. Going to cut a promo here. Here's Dick the Bruiser. There is the Crusher. They're, of course, going to talk to Bob Utter. Entertainment. Entertainment. Not rated. All right. We have Mike McGee taking on Paul Christie next. Paul Christie, of course, a Midwest legend. Wrestled well into his 50s, I think even into his 60s. Guy was always in good shape, always looked like a professional. Very, very well-respected wrestler. I respect him so much that I even changed his picture from that awful one they had on there before. <laughs> Feel free to change yours in your game, too. All right, there we go. Paul Christie gets the win. Of course, he is managed by Miss Bunny Love, who was a really nice lady in real life, um, but apparently was a complete pain in the ass to deal with. All right, Steve Regal and Calypso Jim are going to cut a promo here together. They, of course, are going to be in the big main event here. There's Steve Regal. There is Calypso Jim. If you wouldn't mind for one quick second, just hold still. I have to plug in my computer. Thank you for holding, everybody. I appreciate it. And, of course, they're going to talk to Bob, Bob Utter also. And they're going to be talking about Sheik Adnan LKC and the great Wojo himself, the heavyweight champion of the world. It's going to be based on entertainment. Entertainment. Not rated. Off screen. Off screen. Booked. All right. So up next here, we have Rocky Guerrero and Bulldog Don Kent. So here is Rocky Guerrero. There's Don Kent. Don Kent won about 500 championships in his career. As part of the Fabulous Kangaroos, he's also a couple-time World Tag Team Champion here in the WWA. All right, we have Sheik Adnan LKC. And the great Wojo cutting a promo here. There's the Sheik. There is the great Wojo. Of course, they're going to be talking to Bob Utter. And they're going to be talking about Steve Regal. No reason to put Calypso Jim in there because he's not locked up in the feud. So entertainment right there. That segment is booked. And here comes our main event of Calypso Jim and Steve Regal versus Al KC.
and Wojo. There's Calypso Jim. There is Steve Regal. There's Sheik Adnan, Adnan LKC. And there is the great Wojo. And of course, in typical WWA fashion, this match is going to end in a draw. It is going to be a double DQ finish. That keeps the feud going strong. And we will bump up the promo since we have two minutes extra. Bump up the main event one. All right, we're ready to rock here, everybody. We're going to start that show. Zebra Kid wins with the Moonsault here. Big finisher for the 80s. That would have definitely wowed the crowds, no doubt about it. We're going to move on to the next segment here. And Larry Hamilton gets the win for his team. Has to use the double back heel kick. A lot of penalties here. A lot of very young wrestlers here. And moving right along here. Prince Mama Muhammad gets the win with that wicked splash that he did. Big dude. Big dude. Think Kamala, but a little bit bigger. All right, Rex Bodie wins with his Lariat. This gets a whopping 31. And we're rolling right along here. Ron Powers continues his winning ways over Frankie Adonis. 33 overall with that powerbomb hold. And there we go. Now we're talking 77 overall for the Bruiser and the Crusher promo. Very nice. And Paul Christie gets a whopping 33 in his match with Mike McGee. Is Christie getting penalized? He is, yes. How he's getting overwhelmed by his manager, I have no idea. But according to this, he is. So Regal and Calypso Jim get themselves a 58 in their promo. Not the end of the world, I'll take it. And Don Kent wins with that Bulldog. He's got poor chemistry with Rocky Guerrero. They only get a 24. Oh, not good. <laughs> All right, Adnan LKC gets a 73 for his team in this promo. And... This main event should do a decent number. I don't see why it wouldn't. Somehow it only gets a 68, but a 68 for us is pretty pretty darn good. So let's go ahead and finish this one up. And we get a gain in four regions. Excellent. And I believe those four regions are all of our regions. So that's good news for us. All right, so television tapings are wrapped up here for the next couple weeks, and that's going to put us back on tour. And we're going to be back in the Tyndall Armory, and we're going to have it main evented with Paul Christie versus Steve Regal, the third time these two are going to meet. And I think this one might be a cage match, but we'll have to see. All right, so let's take a look around the wrestling world. There's no incoming information for us here. WBF live event, Hogan over Valentine, 97. Excellent. Steamboat over Morocco. Good card, real good card. Louisville Gardens, very good card. Crockett here, Rudin Fernandez over the Garvins. Title defense, another good card here. Yeah, they're doing, they're doing good. What a difference, huh? Between watching that older version with the AWA, what a difference. Chicago, uh, California Championship Wrestling, fun stuff. Little indies, it's a lot of fun. All right, that's going to do it for us here, everybody. Please hit that subscribe button, and when you do, drop us a message down below. Let us know how you found the channel, how long you've been here. It'll be good to chat with you. Let us know that you subscribed. You can also give this uh, like this video and share it with your friends. Sharing is caring, especially when it comes to YouTube. Because sharing is not only caring with YouTube, but it means growing. Also, if you would like version 9 of the Supermod out now, you can subscribe at patreon.com slash powercast network. For everybody else, non-Patreon members, the Supermod will be available on October 1st. All right, everybody, you can also check out our social media page, 
facebook.com slash groups slash 1987 supermod. And you can also find us under Reddit, under the subreddit of TEW 2020 Friends. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.